In this video, I'll show you how to send out an NPS survey via SMS, and then depending on the outcome of the NPS survey, direct the people to a Google review, or if they're not happy, definitely don't direct them to a Google review. Let's have a look at what it looks like. We've got in the deals module, I've got some automated SMSs that have gone out, and I'll show you the configuration a bit later, but just so you can see what it looks like. So we've got, thank you for completing your order, how likely would you be to recommend us? I then replied 10 from my phone. It then automatically responds with, sounds like you're pretty happy, could you leave us a public review? This link here, if I open it on my desktop or on my phone, it will take me directly to the review screen. We'll just jump in here where I'm logged in already. So you can see it pops it up like that, and it's the same experience as well on your phone. So that's pretty handy in that it means that you don't have to say, uh, go and search for your brand name, click on reviews, and then leave a review, because any friction is going to make it harder for people. But with the way we've got it set up, that will work pretty well. So that's case A, that they're happy. Case B is that they're not happy. So in this case, I responded with four, which is pretty disappointing. We then automatically respond with, sorry, we didn't meet your expectations. Could you give us some more feedback? I responded that the delivery driver was rude and then replied with, thanks very much for the feedback. This gets automatically updated in the deal record as well, so that you don't have to look at the SMS history, you can actually just look at what is on the record itself. So we look in the timeline view, we can see... Oh, yeah. You can see we've put that feedback into the MPS feedback field. Which means that it's very easy for you to then run a CRM report and see what your average MPS score is and hone in, zoom in on anyone who left a low score. And you might also then want to have a additional workflow rule that would be triggered when NPS feedback gets updated. Let's have a look at how this is set up. We've got three different workflow rules. The first one is where we send out an SMS when the deal stage is changed to closed one. And that's pretty simple. We have two parts to it. One is that we update the stage of the deal to requested NPS, and then we send out an SMS saying, please give us some feedback. The second part of it is where we respond to the inbound SMS. Let's have a look at that one. This is triggered on the Smooth Messages module when it is created, and the conditions we have are that it's an inbound message, that the previous outbound message was this one here, which refers to the first message, and that message, which here is the inbound message we received, is either 9 or 10. In that case, we create another smooth message record where we say, ooh, sounds like you're pretty happy, link it to the deal, and then in order to be able to save that NPS score in the deal record, we use this part here, field updates for parent record after sending. And we use this special merge tag referring to the last inbound message. Then we have the other case where it's not 9 or 10, so they're potentially a detractor or a neutral. In that case, we again send a message. This time we're asking for feedback. We again are saving the NPS score. And then the final message that we have or the final workflow is handling the additional feedback for a detractor. The conditions are that it's an inbound message, responding to the outbound message looks like we didn't meet your expectations. In that case, we say thanks for the feedback and we save the message that they sent in the NPS feedback field. The other part I didn't talk about was how you get that magical link in order to directly open the Google Reviews page. 
there's a few ways of doing it if you Google around. So I found this article, and the one that worked for me was this approach here using the place ID finder tool. You basically click on this link, type in your business name, and that will give you the place ID, and then you're able to include that directly in a link. So if I search for message media, it gives me the place ID, and then I simply slot that into the URL, so it the URL looks like this. And of course you can use a URL shortener. If you're using message media, it gets shortened by default. Hopefully that helps you in order to be able to do your own NPS survey and collect some Google reviews. All the best.